Wow. All right, guys. Uh, first of all, I want to send a special thanks out to uh, Jonathan Campbell with Fozy Focus Shooting LLC, providing the steel for the upcoming videos. But what are we shooting today? This is the Wilson Combat P320. I had some, I didn't have some very good thoughts at first when I started shooting this guy or start, held it in my hand. Because I'm not, well, once you shoot an X5 Legion, uh, it's hard to hold another P320 in your hand. But let me show you this thing, man. Well. The return to balance with the slide uh, along with that, uh, yeah, this has got a great gun's trigger in it. We were just talking about that in a little video a little while ago. I, uh, yeah, so my mind may have been changed. I don't know. We'll see down the road. But uh, in any case, uh, because ammo is so expensive, let's get on back to the table and uh, give this thing a real good review front to back. Stand by. All right, guys, so we're back on the review table with this guy. And one of the things we want to do, it, 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 what am I trying to do with this review? One is we're talking about the pistol. I'm going to show you what's in the pistol, show you what's in the box, what this pistol is all about. Then we're going to talk about the pros and the cons of the pistol. Why would you want to buy one of these pistols? Basically over, say, a Legion X5 like this guy right here. So let's do this. Uh, first of all, you got a box. It's a beautiful box. It's plastic. It has a nice little SIG emblem on the top of it. Uh, this one is sent to you by the guys over there. Yeah, Manning and Son. I forgot to mention him earlier. Manning and Son sent this thing out to the channel for testing. I'm going to put the link down below to his channel, uh, YouTube channel. And if you are in the market for some really exquisite high-end firearms, he's probably one of the best ones out there. He's actually got them in stock ready to go. All right, so with that being said, let's talk about this. You get the pistol. We'll go ahead and take care of the formalities here. You get a pistol. You get a spare mag. So you got two magazines with this guy. This particular one, we'll talk about this here in a minute, came with the Grey Guns Trigger. Love this trigger system. Now, first thing I will tell you, tell you uh, this is a competition trigger. This is not a carry trigger. If you're out there running around with a one and a half pound or two pound trigger on a carry gun, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. You've got the manual. It is for the P320X series. Uh, okay. And then in here, you've got some other documentation and, of course, a lock. Okay, so now we got the pistol sitting here in front of me. I've shot the pistol. I love the pistol. I really do. I, I didn't think that I would like the pistol as much simply because my first impressions of this grip. A lot of people say this is the ultimate grip. I got to be perfectly honest with you. For me, no, it, it really isn't. It's not the ultimate grip, uh, especially after you have handled or talked about handling the X5 grip. Just this thing is... Ridiculous. This is a Polymer X5. This is not the Legion. Once you've had this, I'm, I'm sorry, but it just it feels so much better. And partly because there is the uh, separate magwell on there. If that was not on there, I would probably be like the same thing. My, my grip is too short for me. I don't have big hands, but it just feels that way. Uh, is it any better for me? No. I would prefer, ultimately, at the end of the day, that if they were going to do a grip on a full-length slide, let's go ahead and bring that uh, dust cover and those pick rails all the way out. That is what I would like to have seen. For me, I just feel like this, this pistol is not balanced. Uh, and it's just me. Now, I'm not trying to complain or anything else. A lot of people like that. I do like the texturing of the grip. This is that X-Tac finish. Uh, and, and it is nice. But if I'm going to do competition, I'm probably going to go and put some grip on this thing. What are these? These I can't remember the name of the, the grip, but uh, sandpaper, or I'm going to stipple it even more. And that's just in competition. For a carry gun, I'm probably going to go and put a magwell on it anyway and bring out the, I would say, the uh, extended magazines for this thing. It just feels more comfortable. I've got a 20 round or a 21 rounds capacity at that versus a 17 round capacity on this guy right here. That is my first impressions, but let's talk about the details. I just, I want this review or overview, not even a review, but I just want it to be a little bit different from the guys out there shooting shit out of it and telling you how much they love it. Do I love the gun? I tell you what's most important to me on this firearm right now is the barrel. 
I like the trigger because that's a gray guns trigger. Uh, and I like the slide release. They say that's a standard slide release. It's not. That is a standard slide release. This is extended. I don't know if that's something new or not, but I like it a lot. The gray guns trigger. I like it a lot. But let's talk about this. The Wilson Combat Gunsmith and engineers have completely reworked a Sig Sauer P320 chassis and unfinished Sig manufactured slide into our ideal version of a high performance, perfected striker fire pistol. Hell, I don't know what you could do to make it any better. This is a great pistol starting off. What they had, and I think this is an interesting part of it, we're going to talk about that earlier. You got an X5 Legion right here, and you can buy these on the market for $1,000. Uh, add the Grey Guns Trigger. This is a Grey Guns Trigger. If you remember a couple days ago, we did a review on this. I added that. Uh, so basically, this one from the manufacturer, Wilson Combat, is $1,355 or something to change with that trigger system installed. You do the math. I love the tungsten grip, even with the, car, uh, the polymer grip. I love it. All right, back to what we're talking about. We're talking about this. We're not talking about the Legion X5. Using the all-new Wilson Combat SIG P320 grip module, this guy we've been talking about right here, with the beautiful beaver tail. I like the beaver tail. You know how much I love beaver tails. Remember when I used to do videos on the pistols all the time? I would talk about beaver tails. Just love them. Remachine slide and Wilson Combat performed battle sights, front and back. I do like the sights. I really do. Uh, are they better than, say, something like the Trigicon on these guys, the high-rise? I like the high-rise just because they're simply, I just can see them a lot better with my blind ass. But uh, shooting these things in the field, what I was finding that is returned to zero, bam, 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 bam. And that's very important when we talk about the balance of a pistol. Uh, the Wilson Combat Optimized, the WCP320, will become the new standard in hard-use striker-fired handguns. If they say so, Wilson Combat Polymer Grip Module. Let's talk about that. We talked about that before. They got the X-Tac. We've got some nice stippling on the back. It's very rough. I do like that. Good job. And on the foregrip right there. I like the undercut right here. Very smooth up here. We don't have a seam, which is nice. And you've got a four, one, two, three, four slotted pick rail system. And it's slimmed down as well. That's not going to affect anything. Uh, however... I would like to see a full length uh, dust cover and slide with the pick rails all the way to the front. And just for me, I think the pistol is not balanced if it's not out there like this. I'm not sure if this is set up so you can put this in a carry model. By the way, let me just say, uh, this is the full length one. The carry model is set up like the P320 Compact. I do like it. I think that that pistol is balanced because you have not a very long grip. The, for me, that grip is not long enough. Uh, shooting after or going after the USPSA production and carry optics divisions, which this thing is approved to jump right in there. Fits right into the box, weighted, whatever. But in any case, that that is the one thing that I guess really I do not, it's just a, it's, it's a pet peeve of mine. I know people love it, uh, but it's not my favorite. Okay, this newly designed and manufactured grip has enhanced traction, smoother reloading, improved pointability, and a superb recoil control in dynamic shooting. Yeah, it did. I was not unimpressed with the way it performed. I, w I was thinking that it was going to not be as good uh, as, say, the uh, X5, but it, it was. But it's just that grip feels, to me... Let me know what your thoughts are. If you guys have got experience with both of these, let me know. I'm a big fan of the X5. All right, the slide. The slide has been machined with the Wilson Combat X-Tac pattern for improved manipulation under stress. So you can do your really cool press checks like that. You can slingshot it. You can bring it up like this. You can go into it in pretty much every way, shape, or form. I do like the cuts. I think that's pretty cool on the top right here. It just adds for some flavor. Uh, the, stainless, the stainless steel slide and the chrome molly barrel where the most advanced black DLC diamond light coating. This finish has a chromium and tungsten underlayers for long lasting corrosion and abrasion. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Boom. Very pretty. The internals, well, they are what they are. I mean, there's not a whole lot of difference between, say, this thing and uh, this guy right here. I will tell you that the machining on both of these is excellent. This is the Live Free Armory slide right here with their Cerakote finish. Captured guide rod spring 
right there uh, that is metal that is not a plastic one this is a sig barrel chrome molly nine millimeter by 19 not bad the lock up on this thing is superb i do like the finish uh, overall a pretty nice looking slide i do like that they have the wilson combat on the side one of the things that really struck me that i liked a lot was the slide release right here this slide release is a little bit bigger than your standard slide release. You can take a look at them right there. Uh, and I like that. Uh, when I first purchased or traded Mr. Rob, a lot of guys in competition, they'll actually shave these things completely off because they're not going to go to lock back. So uh, in, in an effort to prevent an accidental lock back like that, because a lot of times, I mean, they, they do it all the time. Uh, they shave these things off. Me, myself, Looking at an action gun, a carry gun, a duty gun, I need that to be where it is. And I like that they've made that a little bit bigger. Let's get back to the Grey Guns trigger. Uh, this guy right here, let's put the slide back together. And I hope you're having fun with this one because I'm i coming to the table with some real stuff here. Uh, and it matters to me. Uh, I will tell you this. They've done a great job. This, the, the action on this, the slide back and forth is absolutely impeccable. Uh, say for instance this is the uh, live for live free armory and theirs is as well but that's a nice worn out beautiful uh, lower module trigger module whatever it is it's had a lot of work x5 guys if you can hear that versus this right here yeah so let's talk about the trigger again uh, the great gun trigger, uh, that is an option. It is about a $200 option uh, that you'd have to go to the website and check out. But on this particular one, we'll go ahead and do a test on it. I'll show you. Get it ready. Here we go. About a quarter inch from the bottom. She pulls it two pounds. Uh, wow, 0.9 ounce. Let's go ahead and bring that on again. Quarter from the bottom. Make sure we get it. Two pounds, 7.9 ounces. Compare that because this has the competition springs in it. There's two sets of springs that you do get with the uh, the great guns triggers, and I've got the lighter ones in this guy right here. Yeah, two pounds, 4.3. Well, hell, they're about the same. The reset on this trigger is worth the money. I've had people tell me that they prefer uh, some other. I can't ever remember the other guy's names, but uh, there's a company out of Miami. Uh, I like the great guns. I just like the way it performs, the smoothness, the crispness. It can be a little mushy at times, but the reset is impeccable. This is their what they call their uh, further enhancement gunsmith with the optional action tune. It's just a great guns trigger. In that package, I did receive the uh, original springs as well as the original trigger system that comes with this guy. And weight empty is 29. 0.2 ounces. It's, uh, yeah, well, 0.4. It's available only in 9mm. Magazine capacity, it comes with two magazines. They're 17 rounds. The barrel length is 4.7 inches. Overall length from front to back is 8.25 inches. The sight radius from here to here is 6.5. The height is 5.5. The width is 1.5. Like I said, the empty weight is 29.2 ounces. The loaded weight is is 36.7 ounces. This one is tan. I like the black. Not a big fan of the flat dark earth. The machining on the slide is impeccable as always with Wilson Combat. As far as my overall thoughts about this, you got a firearm here. It's a striker fired firearm, okay, uh, from Wilson Combat, impeccable, uh, for $1,350. You have to do some soul searching in an effort to want to actually purchase this firearm where you can actually so what are the benefits you're getting a really cool slide you've got a sig barrel you got a wilson combat uh grip module uh, what does that mean well i think you can get these grip modules for 50 or 60 bucks you can put the gray guns trigger system into a regular p320 for 165 dollars it takes about 30 minutes the grip module i think 
is probably the biggest downfall of this firearm. You guys might disagree with me, and if you do, hey, tell me about it. I want to know. Um, I know there's a lot of guys out there that really do like the grip module. I think one of the most impressive parts about this firearm is this guy right here, uh, the control module. So much so is that one of the things that I was thinking about doing, and I'll show you, was taking this whole thing, because I do love the X5 carry. I, I think it's one of the best, uh, not the X5, but the, the X5, this guy, this frame. I love this frame. And if you look at the differences between the two, uh, you got a full length dust cover, pick rail. Uh, I also have the availability, and they don't even give you the ability to add a magwell on here if, if you had that chance. So what I may probably do is I would do this right here with this setup and I would probably go ahead and order a uh, gas pedal like this guy right here because I'm accustomed to doing that but I'll probably go ahead and just do this right here so basically what I have now is this and we're done. Now one of the things I could do is I could go ahead and bring this frame in like they did on this guy right here. There. But that would be the only modification. And I know this may make some people mad, but honestly, that's a better grip module. But with that being said, that's my honest opinion. Uh, you guys can take it for what it's worth. Now, what am I going to do with this guy right here? I've actually ordered another tungsten lower frame and then we're going to take and put this trigger system and this module right here and we're going to call it a day so with that being said guys my takeaway from this whole review is that i'm not a big fan of that grip module uh simply because it just doesn't fit my personal needs with that being said uh, we end them like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Again, thanks to Ethan Manning for sending this out to the channel for testing. I really appreciate that. Might as well just do this right here while we're here. Oh, there you go. Bring that in. And we'll put that live free armory slide on here and be done. I don't know. I might like that. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, again, thanks Ethan Manning for sending this out. We're going to continue developing this whole series of 320s. I have decided that this is my favorite striker fired handgun. If I had to, I could just switch out these frames to this one and this could become my carry gun with a different trigger system. In it. Wow. I do like the way they milled their, their uh, slides out. But that being said, again, God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24 seven for our freedom. Because freedom comes in nine millimeter 20 rounds at a time. Sooner than later, most likely. If y'all like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe me, I've already done so. I might have already said that. Anyway, let's have some fun. Y'all have a great day. I'm out of here.